during the hot summer months when hockey and skating programs are usually down. The ice den over in Scottsdale transforms into a place for kids to beat the heat. And it that is sounds packed. pretty good, right? You can find all sorts of things happening throughout the summer from skating to even flag football. Yep. Gibby is at the ice den near the 101 and Bell Road. Good morning. Good morning. What if I told you that, you know, it's 118, but I could take away 100 degrees and make it 18 degrees? Will that be tempting to you? Well, the ice then does just that, and they do it for your kids all summer long with great things to do, Marcy. You know, as we see the Zamboni getting ready for the next group of kids to come out here and enjoy this summer in the nice cool, 18 degrees sounds pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Our ice temperature stays at 18 degrees, so we have the perfect quality of ice, and then in the building, we're at crisp 56 degrees and you can't beat it in the valley especially this week you know you have way more than just ice hockey though you do a lot here free skate time you also have uh, those who want to learn how to ice skate who are out here but much more even more than that yeah definitely there's no off season at the ice den we adapt our programming in the summer we have our turf field down for june and july which accommodates lacrosse and our summer sports camp we have youth and men's league hockey we have summer camps hockey camps, figure skating camps, open skate, uh, learn to skate. I mean, anything you can think of, we can accommodate it in a nice, cool setting. You know, and, and when you think about it, a lot of people who say, well, I'm from Arizona, I know nothing about being on ice. That's the best part of this. You have every level from beginning on up. So if you've never been on ice, I, I just saw a little guy coming out here. He couldn't be more than three or four years old. Learn to skate starts at two and a half with our parent and pups and goes through adult. We have skate training aids that you can use if you're a little rusty or a first timer. Our coaches are fabulous. They know how to adapt to any level and make sure everybody has a safe and enjoyable experience. For those who don't want to get on skates, we have broom ball, which is dirty ice and a stick and ball and you run around in your sneakers and still get the benefits of being on the ice and having a good fun time. I know, and you know what, Here, here's the thing, guys, if this doesn't show you, check this out. This mom here, I don't really want to go in tight on her, but she's wearing a parka. That lets you know that she's comfortable in here and how what comfortable temperatures are when you come to the ice den. So you can go to their website to check out more information. And I got to tell you, is, are you looking to hire? Because I, I, mean, I can teach, I don't know, like sandball or something, but I, yeah. I just want to hang out in here all day. Definitely. You can join us. We all have space heaters up at our desk, so it's a little ironic. <laughs> space heaters. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, I will tell you this, and Olivia, you know about this. I, I went with Arnold to hot yoga yesterday. Yes. And when we got out of hot yoga, when we got out of hot yoga, I walked out and go, oh, it's not bad out here. It's kind of cool today. <laughs> I walked in. I didn't know it was 119. <laughs> So if you want to beat the heat, go to high yoga for an hour and a half. <laughs> That's one way to cope with it. It's not so dramatic. The other way is to hang at the ice den. I like doing all of the above. I know you do. <laughs> Gibby, I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, Gibby. Good thing. We've got to loosen up that back. Neither did I. Thank you. <laughs> Thank